everyone. How is your day going? Yo, what's going on? Thank y'all for tuning in. I hope y'all are enjoying the video per usual. Today, I got another story time for you. This one will be about the time I broke my arm playing baseball. It's it's not a common thing to happen in baseball. Like if you're gonna break your arm in any sport, it's usually something contact related like football, um, lacrosse, hockey, you know, those types of sports. Just to set the scene, um, 14 years old, freshman summer going into sophomore year. I played football and baseball. As a result of this, I didn't play baseball anymore. Um, I actually couldn't because I got too out of shape to play baseball. I got cut from the team the following year, which is funny enough. I, I couldn't play football for like the next season, which I was pretty bummed about. It's not like I was amazing anyway, so it didn't even really matter. We were doing a summer uh, baseball league and we, we were playing like through like a season essentially and then um, the last four games they're actually like a, a tournament. So we're in the first game, I don't even remember who we're playing. So we get into the game, I, it's it's going essentially, like it's not a crazy game. So I get up to bat, I hit a, a single single base. So I go to first, doing a, a, a lead off, it's nothing crazy, I'm not even leading off the base. Um, then I start leading off a little bit more, um, it's anyway now I'm about to steal. Um, when I'm really not, I'm just trying to get in the pitcher's head. And I noticed the pitcher is about to like come off the mound and try to pick me off. So I, I dive back to the base, you know. I wanted to like be as safe as possible. I was taking this game pretty serious uh, and I didn't want to take any chances. So um, I, I tried to like get back as fast as possible and I ended up like slamming uh, my hand really hard. Um, now here's the the nice part of the story, um, actually getting into it. Uh, the first base coach is like, nice job. He's like, you got in his head that time. He was like, that was a real good lead off. And um, I noticed uh, like in my arm, I, I didn't notice it instantly, which was weird. And just a little backstory, I was always like scared of breaking a bone, like very fearful of it because I heard it's like insanely painful. But yeah, I, I was really like very fearful of that, but uh, I didn't expect it to go like this. I slammed my hand back. And it, and like my arm, like right here, I notice I'm like, I'm like, huh? Like, I felt like I just got like a dead arm, but it, uh, it won't go away. And I, I just like kind of like sat at the base and I like, I was, I knew like, I mean, I like sprained it or something at this point. I was like, okay, I maybe, uh, I, I maybe did something to my arm. I told the first base coach and um, he was like, huh? He, he was like, oh, really? And then he looks at my arm and his like eyes get huge. Like he literally, he looks at my shoe and he goes, good job. And just like looks at me like that. And then he starts like calling for the umpires. And I'm like, what the hell's going on, you know? And I swear to you, I, this is the funniest part of the story. The umpire he looked exactly like Chuck Liddell. It was hilarious because uh, I joked that about my friends early, later on um, that like, he confirmed my arm being broken essentially like Chuck Liddell comes over and he looks at my arm and he's like oh and he like starts getting like really grossed out like he's about to throw up or something he's like you need to go you need to go to the hospital I hadn't even looked at my arm yet I seriously haven't even looked at my arm yet my arm at this point is just dangling like it's like this and I don't even notice like what's happening i'm just like oh it's sprained it's whatever like i i it doesn't hurt at all it literally just feels like a dead arm that just won't go away um it, it's not like excruciatingly painful um but my my business is hanging like this you know i'm like i'm like holding it like this position i'm like holding it and i'm like huh you know this is this is really weird does this happen often i go up to my coach and he's like yeah you gotta go he literally just said just those words to me he's like yeah you gotta go you have to go and i was like i was like all right whatever um i'm in the dugout trying to get my things together um oh forgot to mention my mom was in the bleachers and she comes down and she was like she's like oh man you really did it now huh and i was like, I was like yeah, this it's nothing ma like it's, it's a sprain let's just go get it checked out um 
remember I was like in the dugout and my coach was like, help him get his stuff, you know, like help him grab his stuff. He can't get his stuff. And I, I, I had my arm like this and then I like extended it out. No joke. My arm literally went like this. So it's, it's straight. It went and there was a curve right here and it looked disgusting. Like, uh, once I had actually noticed it and there was a curve in my arm and I was just like this. And I, I had straightened it out. And one of my friends was like, he didn't really know what happened. He looked at me and he was like, he's like, hey, what happened? And I was like, I don't know. Something's like wrong with my arm. And it was like dangling like this. And it was like, it was, it was like this. I, I had it out like all the way on my side. Uh, Cause I had enough adrenaline. I could actually like put it out. It didn't hurt or anything. And he, he just like instantly got sick. Like he got pale in the face. And he was like, dude, this is, he's like, get out of here. And it was like, this is the nastiest thing I've ever seen. Still not tripping. Like I, I was like, okay. Like, I, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm delusional at this point. I, I'm trying to uh, disregard everything, trying to, you know, in my head, make it seem like I didn't break my arm when I really just did. And people could tell because um, a lot of people are like, oh, let me see your arm. Oh, that's nasty, dude. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, oh. And then parents are like, oh, that's a really bad one. You might need surgery. And I was like, are you, I was like, surgery? I, I don't even think my arm's broken. Like, honestly, all, all I need is to get it like, set or something like that. I just need some medication. I'm in the car and we're driving to like an urgent care and I'm still in like my full baseball uniform and everything. And they look at my arm like, oh yeah, we need to put you in for x-rays stat like right now. So I go in for an x-rays and I could specifically remember like I, my arm didn't start hurting until this point, until this had happened. Like um, the nurse uh, who was like conducting the x-rays uh, was like flip your arm like this way and my arm like was dangling like I couldn't like I I hadn't tried to like move it over this way and at this point she must have like thought also that my arm wasn't like broken or something because I was taking it really like really well and she's like she's like flip your arm over like this and I was like I was like oh okay and I, I like went like this and I was like yeah I, I can't I can't flip my arm over and she's like do you want me to help you I was like Duh, I can't flip my arm over. And I specifically remember being in the, the most pain I'd ever felt at that point. She she goes like grab my hand and I'm like, I'm like this, you know, like trying to put my uh, hand on like this table to get an x-ray and I'm like, I felt like I was about to pass out for a second. Like that was a lot. And after the x-rays, I'm still thinking that my arm is not broken. I still think this. Um, they're giving me shots and everything. Um, they're giving me shots like, like numb the pain. I don't. Have, I haven't felt any excruciating pain, um, really. But at that point, uh, right before I got like the first initial shots, like I could feel like some like some pain starting to set. And I was like, okay, I'm, this is kind kind of starting to hurt right now. Uh, my mom comes in with the face. She's like, you really did it. And I was like, I was like, what? I was like, what? What's what's, what's wrong? And she's like. Yeah, your arm's broken. Look at this. And I look at the x-ray and there's literally like the biggest crack and it's like offset. And they're like, yeah, you're going to have to get surgery uh, on your arm. And I was like, you have to be kidding. This, this can't be real. There's no way. We went to someone that could do the surgery. Um, and over like the next, uh, uh, like three months, I was just recovering from it. Yeah, that was really, that was the only bro bone I have ever broken. Worst, the worst part about it was, um, I remember specifically, uh, before I got the surgery, I was like, can I play football? Because the football season was starting like three months. I was like, can I play football? Can I play football? I kept asking, I was like, can I play football? And he said, yeah, of course, you're going to be healed by this time. Um, and he let me know by a specific date and I was like, cool, I'm going to be able to play football. So I'm going to start going to like the, these, uh, like little workouts and then just do the cardio stuff, you know? So for like the whole summer, I had went to like these workouts, just do the cardio stuff. And um, after like the last surgery, uh, cause I had to get a pin in my arm. I had to get a needle in my arm like this long, no joke. And um, that surgery in and of itself sucked. Like putting it in hurt so bad, so bad. Afterwards, I had to take um, two Vicodin actually cause the pain was so terrible. Um, but yeah, I got the pin out. And right after I got the pin out, he was like, um, at this point, like foot the football season was starting like a month. I was like, I know I probably can't play like the first like two games or something. It's like, yeah, that's not going to happen. So, uh, at that point I was like, screw this season. Uh, that sucks. Um, but yeah, that's the story about how I broke my arm playing baseball. I literally broke my arm 
jumping back to first base. Like, that's so stupid. And I had to get surgery, which was the worst part. Like, I had to get surgery and I couldn't play sports like the next season. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share for more. Also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Leave it all in the description. All right, later. Extended the clip like Pinocchio. I think that I'm housed at Dosido. She wanna ride like a photo. I keep me a duck like 44. You cannot touch like this, can't move like this, got swag like Mike. You cannot touch like this, can't move like this, got swag like Mike. Blue face, baby. Yeah, I fucking on your little baby. Ooh. MTV clips, Glock hole 16 and pregnant. Brand new. Matt Black G Wagon. Get it together in 2020. I spent 2020 on fashion. Add it up. Add it up. Add it up. Add it up. Huh, huh. Pull up. Gucci subtracted.